what is up guys welcome back to the Mac OS X Mavericks tutorial series in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to change the resolution so it looks a little bit more like this rather than the little tiny thing in the middle um, okay so I'm just gonna log in and I'm just gonna show you what I changed um, rather than um, redoing it all completely this should work for everybody. If it doesn't, then I'm afraid you'll have to Google it. But I'm more than sure, as long as you install, as long as you followed my tutorial from the last episode, this will work perfectly. Okay, so I'm a bit ahead of myself here. Sorry, one second. A little bit of mouse lag. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make sure you are selected on the desktop. You want to hit go. Then you want to head down to computer. Then you want to double click OS. For some people it may take a little while to actually load because um, Niresh, Niresh, one, two, four, nine, five thing is sorting out the permissions of some files. So it takes a little bit um, a little bit of time. Then what you want to do is you want to go down to extra and you just want to modify or open up this org.chameleon.boot.boot dot p l i s t so just open that up and it will open it up in this text editor sort of thing then you need to add this piece of code here to the very top and then obviously changing the resolution here my screen is 1920 by 1080 however a lot of laptop screens nowadays are 1336 by 768 um, but you can check that by going to your desktop right clicking and to screen resolution and it should say it just here so that's the easy way of doing it find well finding out your screen resolution at least okay so once you've done that you just want to X out of this and it should save automatically and X out of that as well and then shut down shut down and then a problem with the Mac install is that it's actually shut down properly so you just have to power off like this okay so then what you need to do is you need to head to your computer local disk C program files Oracle VirtualBox and then you need to right click and open command prompt or file open command prompt and then what you need to do is you need to get this piece of code which will also be in the description um, you need to modify this to your um, your VirtualBox name, which obviously mine is Mac OS X one, as shown here. Yours will be the exact not really the exact same, but yours will be shown here as well. So once you've done that and modified that, you also need to modify the screen resolution here. That will be the exact same as what you set it in the other file. Make sure you keep times thirty two at the end. Um, so just copy that, make sure it's copied, and then paste that here and press enter. And that's that done. And then what you need to do is you simply need to press start. And then it will load up initially in the usual virtual box uh, mode. And then once it's actually started loading, it will come to this full screen. Actually looks rather nice. Um, so yeah. That's about it. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them below. If this helped you in any way, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to keep updated with the tutorials I will be doing, and I will be doing some Hackintosh tutorials to actually install Mac um, completely on a computer, then simply, uh, what's it called? Subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, I've got lost for words then. I'm just going on and on and on, and I'm losing myself. So yeah, here we go complete completely full screen and actually looks rather nice so that's about it thank you for watching this tutorial and i will see you in the next one